Hey guys, welcome to the Liberal Hive Mind, a channel solely focused on exposing the abundant hypocrisy of the left. Well, I guess not so much today, I don't really need to do too much work, because Liberal Bill Maher did all the work for me. Remember this little letter that we covered a couple weeks ago? Joe Biden's letter to the American people saying, listen Jack, listen Corn Pop, I'm serious about securing the border, I just need a hundred billion dollars for Ukraine, and let's sprinkle in a little bit for Israel too, sign on that bill and give me more executive power to shut down the border, and that's the way it's gonna work, okay Jack? That's how we're gonna secure the border, because I really care about border security, having you seen my track record over the last three years, a little bit sarcastic, but that's essentially the TLDR, that's the summation of the letter, we read it, and I was like, well, that's kind of the dumbest thing I've ever read in my life, even though all the leftist shills posting this as if it's a serious commitment to securing the border from Biden, give me a freaking break, if Joe Biden wanted to actually secure the border, he'd literally just do so, it's not like he doesn't have the ability all he has to do is literally just work with the state of Texas to get the frickin' job done, as Trump has promised in his campaigning. When I'm president, instead of trying to send Texas a restraining order, I will send them reinforcements. But anyways, Joe Biden's been saying this a lot as of late. Just give me the power, Jack. All I can do is just give me the power. I've asked for the very day I got an off. Just give me the power and I'll do the job. That's what he keeps saying. What he means is give him executive control to open and close the border at will. What an absolute tyrant nutcase. But anyways, we call this nonsense out already. The claim that Republicans are voting against border security by voting against this bill is absolutely ridiculous. The only people who support this bill are people like Lindsey Graham and Mitt Romney. In other words, Democrats. We called it all out, but now it's someone else's turn. Bill Maher, I guess, is stepping in to call out his own party. Essentially essentially saying the exact same thing I've been saying. Let me show you guys exactly what I mean by that. We got some stuff to get into, so let's roll the tape. All right, guys, well, don't you just love it when leftists put their own party in their place? Bill Maher slams Biden for claiming that he needs additional powers to secure the border, quote, already has existing laws. Part two of the acting yeah. is Joe, is, is Joe okay. Biden saying, you know what, if you just give me a new law, a new law, why doesn't the president can fix this? He already has the existing laws. And border patrol this, this will tell you that right silly. to your face. I need a piece of yeah. paper from Congress to deal with the border. No, you already have that. That's right. That's right. So he has. Bill Maher's correct. This is all so silly, the president can fix this, he just chooses not to. There's already existing laws. Here we go, it literally took me two seconds. Found this on Wikipedia. Improper entry. Section 1325 in Title 8 of the United States Code. Improper entry of alien provides for a fine, imprisonment, or both for any non-citizen who enters or attempts to enter the United States at any time or place other than as designated by immigration agents, or we're seeing over 3 million people cross the border improperly. And the number is definitely much higher than that, if you count unknown gotaways and even known gotaways. So in other words, you have over 3 million people breaking U.S. law every year, and a president using federal power to essentially let it go on and not enforce the laws themselves. If you have an asylum claim, you go to a legal point of entry. You communicate with immigration authorities, get a court date, and go through the proper process. You don't cross the Rio Grande. That's not the proper way of doing things, and here's the disconnect. You have illegal migrants who are doing things incorrectly, improperly, illegally, and in most cases fraudulently. 99% don't have actual legitimate claims of asylum. They're attempting to fraud the asylum system. So what they're doing is illegitimate, but Joe Biden consists on making the illegitimate process legitimate by funneling people who are breaking the law into the legal asylum process, wasting taxpayer dollars on bogus asylum requests, not to mention all the taxpayer dollars being wasted on housing and every other logistical element here. And so essentially, Joe Biden is actively working to subvert American border laws, all the while saying, well, what I really need is just give me more power, bro. They're not going to fix it. It makes no sense. And even Bill Maher is honest enough to admit that fact. Joe Biden doesn't need new powers to secure the border. The powers already exist. Joe Biden just needs to get with the program and accept that Texas is right. Joe claims he doesn't have the power to secure the southern border. Well, maybe, just maybe, help Texas put up the border wall. Border wall construction is now ongoing. Texas Governor Greg Abbott escalates border battle with Biden. Well, 
Well, let's see what Joe's gonna do. Most likely, he's gonna take Greg Abbott to the Supreme Court and attempt to stop him from building the border wall. Joe Biden doesn't need new powers. Joe Biden just needs to do his freaking job. Not to mention all the monies left over from the Trump administration, specifically allocated for building the southern border wall. What did Joe Biden do pretty much day one while in office? Of course, we know Joe Biden pulled that funding for the border wall construction. Again, Joe Biden doesn't need new powers. Joe Biden needs brain power. What we need is brain power in general coming from the Democrat Party. We need less of this nonsense. Once again, the majority is wasting our time by putting forward a piece of legislation that has zero chance of becoming law. The bill says that a conviction for a single DUI offense, misdemeanor or felony, makes you instantly deportable, and an admission to such an offense makes you instantly inadmissible, no questions asked. I certainly don't think that's a good use of our resources. It's certainly not a good use of our time on this floor. But my colleagues on the other side of the aisle have made it clear that they're not interested in sensible solutions, just in sensationalism. This bill is another example of that. And I hope my colleagues will stop referring to people as illegals. People are human beings. They have different statuses. Some are undocumented. If you want to say some are illegal, but let's not call human beings illegal. Tired of that language. Democrat Representative Pramila Jayapal says, stop referring to people as illegals. People are human beings. They have different statuses. Some are undocumented. In other words, attempting to normalize the idea of undocumented people living equally with equal rights in the United States. How utterly absurd. Everyone just come. There's no such thing as illegal migration. You aren't an alien. You're just an undocumented person. It's a different identity. Let's open the borders and bring 200 million undocumented. Why not? What harm could that possibly cause to social cohesion and the American economy? You know, I'm being sarcastic and kind of just laughing it off because it's really the only appropriate response. I need to go on a whole monologue explaining why state sovereignty is important and should be respected. You know, what if a Americans just decided to start invading Mexico. Why not? 20 million American citizens decide that they want to march over the southern border and take over Mexico City. Is that also perfectly acceptable and woke? Is that the world that we want to live in? Just invade countries willy-nilly as you see fit. You know that job that you've been eyeing out there in London? You want to live the London dream? Well, just go. What's stopping you? You don't need a work visa. You don't need a path towards permanent residence. Just go and take the job. Go and work. Go and take somebody's house while you're at it because walls are racist and anybody who has a wall around them is a bigoted racist yeah let's just abolish walls or walls they're just arbitrary objects of social patriarchy or whatever pseudo-intellectual nonsense jargon the left spews walls are racist therefore your home is now an open border sarcasm is the only appropriate argument here it's ridiculous it makes no sense it's stupid close the damn border deport illegal migrants the laws are already on the books. Joe Biden doesn't get to now get credit for attempting to secure the border, and it's actually the Republicans that are trying to stop him. Joe Biden's an absolute fool. Joe Biden's the core of the problem. The Democrat establishment's the core of the problem, and I think that fact is pretty damn clear. Anyways, that's pretty much what I got for you guys on this one. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like and possibly subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.